Spring is a season of transition and renewal unlike any other. As the earth stirs from its winter slumber, it's as if the world is reborn. Dormant plants spring from the ground, blossoming into a myriad of vibrant colors. If you're eager to join us on our global expedition, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below this video. Spring is when flowers begin to bloom, their sweet fragrance wafting through the air, painting an ambiance of freshness. Birds, having returned from their winter migration, fill the air with their melodious chirping, heralding the arrival of the season. The daylight lingers longer, the warmth seeping the skin, replacing the winter chill with a comforting warmth. As the world transforms, it's a perfect time to dust off that suitcase and embark on a journey of exploration. Witness the beauty of the world as it wakes up, teeming with life and energy. The perfect time to indulge in the natural around us. Now we delve into the top 10 places that should be on your spring travel itinerary, places that redefine beauty and provide unforgettable experiences. At kicking off our top 10 countdown at number 10, we are delving into the historic city of Kyoto, Japan. Kyoto, a living testament to Japan's rich history, is renowned for its ancient temples that date back several centuries. Each temple, uniquely enthralling, stands as a symbol of the city's spiritual heritage. The Kinkaku-ji, or the Golden Pavilion, with its gold leaf adorned exterior reflecting in the serene pond, paints an ethereal picture. Beyond the sacred Kyoto is also home to traditional tea houses, where the art of the Japanese tea ceremony, Chanoyu, unfolds. These tea houses are a sanctuary of tranquility, often nestled within bamboo forests or lush gardens. Here, the ritualistic performance of preparing and presenting matcha tea offers a profound insight into Japanese culture. As captivating as these structures are, nothing quite compares to the city's spectacle in the spring. Imagine strolling under a vast canopy of cherry blossoms, known locally as sakura. These delicate flowers, in varying shades of pink, create a mesmerizing display as they flutter down in the gentle breeze. The hanami, or cherry blossom viewing, is a beloved tradition that marks the arrival of spring. It's a magical time when the city transforms into a pink paradise, and the locals picnic under the blooming trees, their laughter mingling with the whispers of the wind. So a visit to Kyoto in spring is not just a trip, but an immersive cultural journey. It's a chance to walk through Japan's history, witness millennia-old traditions, and partake in the celebration of nature's rebirth. Next up on our journey, in the ninth position, we travel to the pulsing heart of Europe, to Amsterdam, Netherlands. Here, we find a city transformed by the season of rebirth, spring. In this season, the city appears as though it's been kissed by a rainbow, with vibrant tulip fields stretching as far as the eye can see, turning the city into a painter's palette of vivid hues. Amsterdam's famous canals become even more enchanting in spring, framed by these blooming tulips in a riot of colors. The city's unique architecture, a harmonious blend of historic and contemporarily modern design, gets a fresh coat of allure set against the backdrop of these floral hues. The people of Amsterdam themselves, known for their openness and jovial spirit, seem to bloom with the season, contributing to the overall vibrant atmosphere of the city. The local eateries and cafes come alive with tantalizing Dutch cuisine that further enhances the city's charm. From the wholesome stroopwafels to the hearty bitterballen, the food in Amsterdam is a gastronomic adventure you don't want to miss. A significant highlight during spring is the world-renowned Kuchenhof Gardens one of the world's largest flower gardens. With over 7 million flower bulbs planted annually, this floral feast becomes a major tourist attraction, drawing in nature lovers and photographers from all corners of the globe. It's hard to forget the spectacle of seeing an ocean of flowers in full bloom. So as we nestle in the heart of Europe in spring, Amsterdam invites us on a colorful, enchanting, and unforgettable journey. At number eight, we embark on a thrilling journey to the Southern Hemisphere to visit the picturesque Cape Town, South Africa. This mesmerizing city, renowned for its stunning landscapes that vary from towering mountains to tranquil coastlines, is a paradise for nature lovers. Its diverse flora, a captivating tapestry of vibrant hues and varied textures, is a sight to behold, particularly in the inviting spring season. As spring arrives, Cape Town transforms into a canvas of dazzling colors with an array of unique flowers in full bloom. Spring is the perfect time to explore its world-renowned Kirstenbosch National Botanical Garden, a treasure trove of indigenous plants, including the radiant King Protea, South Africa's national flower. 
This garden is not only a sanctuary for plant enthusiasts, but also home to numerous bird species, making it a hotspot for bird watchers. A visit to the Cape of Good Hope Nature Reserve is an absolute must during this season. Nestled in the heart of the city, it is a haven for wildlife, offering visitors a chance to spot zebras, baboons, and a myriad of other animals in their natural habitat. Furthermore, the panoramic views from the Cape Point, where two ocean currents meet, are absolutely breathtaking. For those who yearn to marvel at the city's landscapes from great heights, a cable car ride up to the summit of the iconic Table Mountain is the perfect choice. The view from the top is an unforgettable sight, a sprawling cityscape enveloped by a breathtaking panorama of the Atlantic Ocean. In essence, Cape Town, in the vibrant spring season, offers an unrivaled feast for the senses, presenting a harmonious blend of stunning landscapes, exotic wildlife, and blooming flora, thus making it an irresistible destination for nature enthusiasts. Making a grand entrance at seventh place, we find ourselves in the famed city of Love, Paris, France. Ah, springtime in Paris. It's nothing short of a living, breathing postcard. Imagine the iconic Eiffel Tower standing tall, piercing the clear blue sky, and seemingly rising from a magical sea of blooming cherry blossoms, putting up a spectacle for all to see. Paris, in spring, is not just a city, but an artist's perfect muse. It is adorned with nature's finest work, the sprouting flowers in myriad hues. The city's numerous parks turn into a painter's palette of vibrant colors as tulips, daisies, and roses bloom in all their glory, releasing intoxicating fragrances that dance through the air. Adding to the charm are the outdoor cafes that dot the cityscape. Here you'll find them teeming with life. Locals and tourists alike, savoring a cup of coffee or a croissant, engaged in laughter and conversation, creating a beautifully infectious energy that resonates through the quaint Parisian streets. The city's iconic landmarks contribute to this romantic atmosphere as well. The Eiffel Tower, with its grandeur and elegance, stands as a symbol of love and romance. And then there's the majestic Notre Dame Cathedral, its gothic architecture and intricate detailing inspiring awe and admiration, making it a beloved sight for all those who visit. Spring in Paris, it's a canvas of love, romance, and unparalleled beauty. It's poetry in motion, a sight to behold, a feeling to experience. Entering the list at number six, we're jetting off to the bustling city of Washington, D.C., located in the eastern United States. The city's renowned Cherry Blossom Festival, a long-standing annual tradition, certainly deserves a spotlight. This spectacular event isn't just a feast for the eyes. It's also steeped in rich history and cultural significance. Incepted in 1935, the festival marks the commemoration of a generous gift of 3,000 cherry blossom trees from the mayor of Tokyo to the city of Washington, D.C. back in 1912. This symbol of friendship between the United States and Japan has since transformed the nation's capital into an ethereal wonderland, with delicate hues of pink and white enveloping the city. The Cherry Blossom Festival isn't just about the blooming of these beautiful trees. It's also an opportunity for the city to come alive with a flurry of cultural events. From the Grand Pink Tie Party, where guests arrive adorned in pink, to the Cherry Blossom Parade consisting of elaborate floats, giant helium balloons, marching bands and performers, the city gets imbued with a palpable sense of excitement and celebration. Other events include the Blossom Kite Festival, where kite flyers from around the world showcase their skills, and the Japanese Street Festival, featuring art, food, and traditional Japanese performances. So if you're looking to experience an explosion of culture, history, and beauty, Washington, D.C.'s Cherry Blossom Festival should be your next stop. Venturing into the midpoint of our list, at the coveted number five, we are transported to the captivating land down under, specifically in Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne, an urban oasis, is a city where nature and modernity distinctly intersect. The city is renowned for its lush parks and meticulously curated gardens, which are a veritable symphony of colors in the spring. Each park is a canvas, with strokes of vibrant azaleas, tulips, chrysanthemums, and thousands more, painting a tableau of nature's extravagance. The Royal Botanic Gardens, a sprawling 94-acre wonderland, is particularly noteworthy. Here, you would get lost among the endless fields of blooming pansies, wisterias, and marigolds, their intoxicating fragrance permeating the air. The Fitzroy Gardens, home to Cook's Cottage, is another must visit. In spring, the garden transforms into a riot of pink cherry blossoms, drawing locals and tourists alike. 
Spring in Melbourne is not just about natural displays, it's also a season of cultural awakening. The city resonates with the sounds of the Melbourne Spring Racing Carnival, an event that captures the spirit of the city. The Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show, held in the heritage-listed Royal Exhibition Building and Carlton Gardens, is another spring highlight, showcasing the city's love for horticulture and design. Indeed, Melbourne in Spring is a celebration of life, a testament to the city's commitment to preserving its natural beauty and a manifestation of its vibrant culture. And moving to number four, we set sail to the captivating Emerald Isle, landing in Dublin, Ireland. Dublin is not just a city, it's a repository of tales etched in the grandeur of its historic castles. Each castle, like the Dublin Castle, endowed with its own unique features, boasts a rich chronicle dating back to the 13th century. The gray stones of these magnificent structures have withstood the test of time and bear the marks of an era long past. As we step out from the venerable halls of these storied fortresses, we are met with an equally captivating sight, the city's lush green landscapes. These are not just ordinary fields, they are a canvas painted with a diverse palette of flora. From the emerald-hued, dew-kissed grass to the vibrant wildflowers blooming in riotous colors, the landscapes are a testament to Ireland's verdant beauty. And then, there's spring. Dublin is at its most enchanting during this time. The city seems to awaken and stretch, casting off the winter's chill as it prepares to welcome the warmth. As Dublin springs to life, it plays host to an array of cultural events. From spirited St. Patrick's Day parades, overflowing with joviality, to the Dublin Dance Festival, where the city sways to the rhythm of life, spring in Dublin is an unforgettable spectacle. We invite you to immerse yourself in this unique experience, right here at number four. Our third destination transports us right into the pulsating heart of the Mediterranean, to the enchanting city of Rome in Italy. Here, the ancient city unfurls its charm in a symphony of cobblestone streets, each stone bearing the whispers of millennia, echoing the footsteps of gladiators, poets, and emperors. As you meander through these quaint alleyways, you'll be greeted by the magnificent spectacles of historic ruins. Structures like the Colosseum and the Roman Forum, which have witnessed the ebb and flow of empires, stand resolute, their time-worn facades narrating tales of bygone eras. However, the allure of Rome heightens in the spring. The city, kissed by the spring sun, transforms into an artist's palette, exploding with colors that dance on the canvas of this architectural marvel. Vibrant hues of blossoming flowers contrast beautifully against the honey-golden tones of Rome's iconic architectural structures. These include marvels such as the Pantheon with its impressive dome, the grandeur of St. Peter's Basilica, and the intricate detailing of the Trevi Fountain, which all underpin Rome's artistic and architectural mastery. Spring also ushers in a unique cultural experience. As the winter chill recedes, the city comes alive with outdoor concerts, festivals, and al fresco dining in charming piazzas. You can indulge in gastronomic delights where fresh seasonal produce is the star, or lose yourself in the ebullient crowd at a lively street festival. Rome, in the spring, is not just a city. It becomes a living, breathing work of art that offers an unforgettable, sensory-rich cultural experience. Sitting majestically at number two is the city of Istanbul, Turkey. With the arrival of spring, Istanbul transforms into an enchanting city of colors. Considered as the jewel of the season, tulips spread their vibrant hues across the city's numerous parks and gardens. This burst of color culminates in the annual Istanbul Tulip Festival, a month-long event that sees millions of tulips planted all over the city. Not just nature, the bustling markets too come alive in spring. The Grand Bazaar, one of the oldest and largest markets in the world, buzzes with activity, and the air is filled with the heady scent of spices and Turkish delights. As you traverse the city, you can't help but be awestruck by its historic architecture. From the awe-inspiring Hagia Sophia with its colossal dome to the Blue Mosque adorned with intricate Iznik tiles, every building in Istanbul tells a story of its rich past. But no mention of Istanbul's beauty is complete without a nod to the Bosphorus Strait. This natural strait not only physically separates Europe and Asia, but also offers breathtaking views of Istanbul's skyline, especially in the soft, warm light of spring. So, whether you're a nature lover, a history buff, or a market hopper, Istanbul in spring is a sight to behold. And finally, the best place to visit in the spring is none other than Vancouver, Canada. Here, the Cherry Blossom Festival is a sight that leaves every visitor in awe. 
As the trees burst with pink blossoms, they provide a striking contrast with the backdrop of the city's impressive skyline. In Vancouver, the Cherry Blossom Festival isn't just about admiring the trees, it's an immersive cultural experience. The city buzzes with activities and events that echo through the streets. Traditional music fills the air, and the performances reflect the rich cultural heritage of Canada. The festival is also a culinary delight for food enthusiasts. Street vendors set up stalls to sell traditional Canadian cuisine. You can taste everything from poutine, fried potatoes topped with cheese curds and slathered with gravy, to butter tarts, a sweet pastry filled with sugar, butter, and eggs. The overall atmosphere during the cherry blossom season in Vancouver is nothing short of magical. When the sun sets, the park's lights cast a warm glow on the blossoms, creating an enchanting ambiance that is hard to forget. People dressed in warm clothing walk amidst the illuminated trees, enjoying the transient beauty of the blossoms. It's a jubilant atmosphere that reflects the Canadian appreciation of nature's fleeting moments. The city's Stanley Park, with its beautiful trails and stunning views, offers a unique experience during the Cherry Blossom Festival in Vancouver, Canada. Traveling in the spring offers a unique and enriching experience. It's the time when you can witness nature in all her glory, rejuvenating and blooming after the long winter. A time when the trees regain their greenery, flowers blossom, and the air is filled with the sweet fragrance of new life. This season allows you to indulge in a plethora of outdoor activities, from hiking and camping to picnicking among the wildflowers. But it's not just about enjoying the vibrant landscapes and pleasant weather. Spring travel also provides a chance to immerse in the local culture through various spring festivals that dot globe. Be it the beautiful Cherry Blossom Festival in Japan, the colorful Holi Festival in India, or the lively Mardi Gras in New Orleans, these cultural experiences can leave you with unforgettable memories. Spring is truly a time to explore, to discover, and to make memories that you'll treasure for a lifetime. So, why wait? Start your spring getaway now and make this season of renewal your season of adventure. If you enjoyed this countdown of the best places to visit in the spring, do us a favor and hit that like button. Share this video with your fellow travel enthusiasts, encouraging them to plan their own spring escapade. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel content. Until we meet in the next video, happy travels and incredible springtime adventures.